Traditionally, most houses in Meghalaya have always cultivated squash as a kitchen garden crop. With most houses sporting trellis structures made of bamboo and wooden planks in their backyards. Squash, or piscot as it is commonly known in the state of Meghalaya, has always been a vegetable that most people know and consume but many do not really think about it much since it has always been found in abundance and in most cases never really bought in the market. However, in the recent years, this has become a much talked about vegetable and its potentialities are only being discovered very recently. Piscot is a cucurbit which is widely grown in the many northeastern states and particularly in Meghalaya, it is abundantly found. However, this crop is a underexploited and underdeveloped crop. Not much initiatives has been taken by the government uh, in the earlier years and not, not much data is also available with regard to this uh, crop because as you can see this uh, crop actually grows wildly and uh, it grows very easily anywhere it uh, uh, gets some soil hit it will start growing and sprouting and uh, this crop uh, this cucurbit is a very nutritive uh, crop uh, which also is a source of livelihoods to a large number of farmers particularly in Meghalaya you will see in various clusters of the Lakse and Margaur cluster then other clusters in West Khasi Hills particularly and it has saved them from migrating from their own village during the season of this crop. Though there is a wide fluctuation in prices, very big fluctuation in prices in the lean during the lean season and the uh, during the time of a glut. On seeing that this uh, crop has a good potential for improving the lives of the people and promoting entrepreneurship, uh, the government of Meghalaya, in its series of discussions, have identified the promotion of Piscot as one of the areas for promotion also of entrepreneurship. A drive through Marngor like say area in West Khasi Hills district shows how this vegetable has helped improve the livelihoods of the people of this area who have for generations been cultivating squash. Conversations with the farmer of this area have revealed how they have benefited from this plant and what more could be done to help them get a fair price in the market for this produce so as to improve their livelihoods more. Kumbaka kalau mentang midi une ha barok ki ayom jong u piskot bat nda poi hau punai agos kador ke barit e kalong san tengka na lor kan ni ha kijing ya dai bat ka rep biskot ka jing kwa jong kinong rep jong kan ni ke area ka jong i kalong ha kijing ya dai bat ka dor la ni ka yeo ka ba ya dai bat u piskot Kumbangal kalong menta ngidi upiskot hangne hapo sinong hi barlawan kit hangne lathid yu upiskot de kikhar asam e kala sukut no tang tangkum ta ha jing di upiskot ngimla bandi palat ya ka yo lait na asam te kumta kum ki nongrep te ngi syakhnyot ya kador kamur te ngi donkam Kajing yarap lem naki officer jong ka sorkar bakin yarap yang ibangin ban penyo iki yo nang bingila ban kampanya sekmat yo kador ke jong piskot ka ka teng jong ngade ba ba charles tun so syang ngade u sodar sinong na sinong mo khan pambe ba ha po marngor area na west kasil district motorisan blok bat ngade we nak ki nongrep biskot lapalat khasan sinemei 
ngelari biskot bat ndai bang asyurap tang ladin ring ngapun seluruh dei pai nang susnong bakin rap kambun yo biskot nama ngasiam bat ngi iba marap mar biskot jung ide we ne ki marap bakong samtam ki ne gidong ki than ki jungi nama arba ude wala ban ini yo pisana ke banta ban pendapan biang ya kai ngasiam ndrei ka bakong san ka long ba ka bang isu dio men sim na ka liang jungi ki pai nang rap biskot ki ne gidong ki than ki jungi long ba kayo kam biang Nari yang ka marketing kam biang isa kenyot dor palat haka haukar asam jati tena kaleng jungi pat nang rusong isa urit mensim bagai studio mensim teng teng haka por ba ngi bun biskot udor wiarno haka bak kendiat biskot kiwat pen kiwe kador saka wero de ki pat nang rusong jungi sene ki kwa hir hir ki trang hir hir ban rap yonde u biskot henre ka jenge ka long ba kim don ding kim don sej ban pen por ban shan te ban supom pathar ki ding na khlau ru te ki benot mar satang lano ka khlau ji kan saselan lot na sudon kam menta na kaleng government makan ai ka tu ka ne ki lat ji rap sha ki dong ki thang ki jungi na menta ban nang kampen bun na kampen nang kham rap kham bun su su yau ne biskot khnang ban kaleng jungi kan nang kiu hak bi dei ka yok ka kot to find out about the potentialities of this plant a team of researchers from ICAR led by Dr AK Jha are conducting rigorous tests and studies to find out about this produce Biscuit what you say in khasi is sechia medule botanically it is from a member of cucurbitaceae family that means gourds pumpkin cucumber they are all coming from the cucurbitaceae family mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. unique feature mm -hmm. of this crop is it is the only single seeded cucurbit one other unique character of this species is it is viviparous that means the new plantlet comes out from the fruit even without bringing out the seed this is something unique about biscuit this is one crop where we have got an advantage in northeastern hill region we get this crop only in this part of the country and southern part of the country in the nilgiri hills we in icr recommend this crop to be grown on a bower system this this is what we make what you call machan sort of the advantage with that will be that the second crop can also be taken of course the seed loving ones like ginger or some ornamentals uh, anthuriums can also grow inside them especially for or we can have some uh, nursery where we require sheds this can also be grown inside the uh, cover of the crop they are grown organically one of the good advantages is you hardly find any disease any pest attacking this crop one of the thing which i would like to share is there were scientific reports that the crop has got potential for anti proliferation of tumor cells with the help of our uh, animal health division horticulture division is working on these uh, lines as well we have collected for the initial trial pilot trial what you say we did with three different genotypes one was light green one was dark green one and with spines and we could find that all three of them were anti proliferative so it may be a good potential for anti tumor drug as well new branches mm. and along with new leaves are edible mm. even for human consumption then tuberous roots are edible it can fit up well in the farming system where we have one pond uh, fishes growing some uh, pigs or poultry uh, they can uh, feed upon the uh, fodder even the leaves even the fruits they can be fed to the livestock uh, things if awareness is being created about this crop then we will have an advantage of supplying it to the other part of the country as well because of the hard rain we do not uh find any reason why it should not be acceptable even as far away in uh, southern part of the country i see a lot of potential in this crop and we should all make uh, efforts to popularize this dr jha's research has shed a new light on biscot 
Understanding the various medicinal and therapeutic properties this promising vegetable has, we followed this vegetable to the market to see how it really sells. This cut the one man naki jaka and kill them so dumb so dumb. The knee bat knee tail naki nong rab and knee tail like a dog had a knee pa bat tisha, knee shall lamp at Nangisha tete. Ia lem mira diru akan kalah nak kasih. Uya iba hakim ni iba benar iba ladam mental lah benar. Di ni salam saya kau hatiru saya potes pur saya tinstia kita lagi teli kita kawan. Ngas, kayu biskut mental lah life house ni mtam. Mah, tu biskut bawaan mental wan apa Mariau, wan apa Mayrang, wan ni nong kendong ni tu wan deng i tiad hang ni kedor kalai kat sau tunggal sekilo. Tengi dia sedekah bayi lut bayi set tulah song kan riu kan yo dan teng teng kaha payo ngi dia bayi try no isti teng teng ngi dia dua no isti tengka tu teng teng ngi yo nong hi arteng kah lai tengka sekilo siapa gawati dan silsar nogong berolasam tapi dah garap bersekat Luis Omar Juan Ra yang cuma tahu aku liang di cikarap baru tulah kan Ra uneh Kami sudah kata kan ni hendak kencing luksan, bang isnai kersan, isnai di, eh eh, per kentam ruk, kentam kador, kemur hayo ruk, tinggi hayo kador bebang, tinggi hayo kencing im kan. Nada kayu kemelong, terkemut, nada bahang kenal lu, mungkin nanti mentoi kemut. Lawak yang hayo tentang ni tulis susu dong itu, tulis koti, silsar, spo, susu dong lah yang ni lawak hayo. Yang kerja juga pat, kerja hidung rap, kerja kuah, kerja muka solkar, kerja snok tilang kan ni. Dah kira yang marau itu mar. Sebelah saya menyerap kerja di tempat penyak jalan di mar di natar. On seeing that the biskot has a lot of potential to enhance the livelihoods of the rural people, the SIRD with the help of EDI had sent a biskot for test to various institutes around the country and two centers of excellence like the NCL Pune and the Anan Agricultural University have made tests on the nutritive value of this biscuit and the possible value addition uh, of biscuit. So after receiving the test reports, the SARD had also conducted a series of workshops uh, with the farmers from Lakse and Margol clusters, which were potential areas of promoting biscuit in the state. So this, uh, after these workshops, we had uh, talked about the possible value additions and the opportunities that farmers can take up to promote biscuit in a big way. Uh, once uh, this was done, the farmers had shown their interest. We had also tried to promote biscuit to make people more aware of biscuit and its uh, nutritive value, medicinal value, and the various products uh, that can be made out of biscuit and also to showcase the various types of biscuits found in the state. To make the people aware of all this, we had also organized a biscuit festival in the month of September 2014, and uh, which was a resounding success as because uh, people have now become more aware of the value of biscuit. I feel that uh, biscuit is, can really bring up the people of the state, uh, particularly after its value addition and also uh, even the raw fruit actually uh, fetches a very very good price in other states uh, of the country. Here we get it at a very cheap uh, rate but outside the state like in places like Calcutta and Bombay and Delhi you know it sells at a price of you know, about 90 rupees a kg and more. So, if we can actually open up the market for this uh, vegetable, I feel that uh, the farmers of the state and the rural community as a whole will greatly benefit from the cultivation of biscuit. Biscuit has always been called a poor man's vegetable, being found in abundance and everywhere in this state, it finds its way into most people's plates, wittingly or unwittingly. Now, with all of its various potentials being unlocked and understanding the sustainability aspect of this plant, 
the belief has been reaffirmed that this vegetable could perhaps become a very important livelihood option for the people of the state of Meghalaya.